everybody this is Matt and I want to share with you a cool new feature in Google Earth uh, called projects so if you're familiar with Google Earth you can do a search right here but there's actually a new button um, called projects if I click on that what I can do is I can create what is called a project and it's a custom map that you can add media text anything that you want uh, to possibly illustrate a story um, showcase uh, you know, maybe uh, something in science class, social studies, there's so many different connections, even math class. So let's go ahead and show you what this is going to look like. So I'm going to create a sample project and I'll just call this uh, Matt's project. I can put a description right here if I want and then I could add what are called features. Now features are places that are already pin marked uh, or you could add your own place mark or you can draw lines or shapes. So let's show you what that might look like. So right here I can go through and um, I can look for the Grand Canyon and here's an actual pin that already exists. I can add that to my project. So if I have multiple projects, I can choose which one. I'm gonna choose Matt's project right here, hit save. Uh, and then what I can do is I can edit this particular tool. So I can edit the view, I can also edit the content. So Google provides this particular content right here whenever you have a pre-pinned um, type of uh, spot, or you can just type in your own. So I'm going to type in, this is a really big place. You can also add your media as well, whether you want to add your own um, photos or from Google Drive or your own photos or a URL, or if you want to do an image search. So let's try to look for something for the Grand Canyon. Okay, so I'm looking through here. You have a variety of tools as well, which you can filter by color if you'd like. So if I wanted orangish pictures, I could do that. If I wanted to go by a clip art, I can even do a clip art. I'm gonna just choose this one right here. This one looks pretty neat. I'm gonna hit select and it adds it in. Now I can add another form of media as well. I'm gonna do this time a YouTube video. And when I do that, now I can go through and I can say, oh, you know what? I want this one right here. I'm gonna hit select and it'll add it in. Okay, so it does put it in chronological order. So the newest uh, goes last. Uh, so it goes from least from oldest to newest. All right, I can also customize the pin mark. So if I wanted to choose, maybe make it a blue one, I could do that. If I wanna change the different um, icon on there, I can as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and go back. Um, I could add, I'm gonna add another feature in here, a place mark. So let's say for instance, I wanna put a place mark at Mount Trumbull. So I'm gonna do that right here. I'm gonna call it Mount Trumbull. And I'm just gonna save it to this project. Once again, I could go in here, I could add content if I wanna add content here uh, and go back. Now another feature that I can add too is drawing a line or shape. Uh, I've seen this used whether uh, you wanna outline the Great Barrier Reef and um, Australia, if you wanna highlight a path of some sort, you could do that as well. So here's how it works. So I'm just gonna click. So I'll click right here, stretch out my line, click again, click again whenever I wanna add like a little pin mark. All right, and when I'm finished, I'll just hit return or enter on my keyboard. I'm just gonna call this trail, okay? And I'm gonna hit save. So now I have right here, I have the Grand Canyon, Mount Trumbull and a trail. Um, I can share this project right here by clicking share. Now, if I wanna do that, I can collaborate with other people if I like, or I can just get a shareable link uh, that I can share with somebody else. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what this is gonna look like uh, simply by copying this. And then I'm going to open up a new incognito window uh, so you can see what this is gonna look like uh, when you're sharing it with somebody else. The cool thing is, is this acts very much like a presentation, okay? In the sense that um, you can go right through here let me just close this. You can see uh, my map, okay? And now what I can do is I can present and it puts it in presentation mode. So it's almost like a PowerPoint presentation with a map and you can go through and see the different types of media right here, the text that you offered, you can play the video. I can go right down here. This will take me to Mount Trumbull uh, and um, other, other spots along the way. So I have right here my two different spots uh, that I put down and it is a great way of presenting things. Think about the characters of a book, maybe where they went, the different settings in, in your book, uh, possibly historical events and social studies class, um, mathematics, maybe distances from one place to another. Uh, there's a lot of different connections and you can very easily share this on whatever learning management system that you have.